The following is an excerpt from the Texas Parks and Wildlife television show. My family is crazy. Birds. Bird. Birds. Birds. Meet the Brotherton family of Dangerfield, Texas. They're crazy. Crazy about birds. I do look at birds a lot. I'm always looking at birds. I do it every day. I do it. Well, here's some teal. Here's some teal? And some cinnamon. 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 The entire Brotherton family, David, Luann, Sarah, and John, spend a lot of time together, whether it's calling cardinals or playing games. The Brothertons do it as a family. Wimbo! There's a pigeon thing. Oh, yeah. Is David is the first birder of the family. He started scoping sparrows while growing up in Arkansas. As David grew, so did his interest in birds. By the time he met Luann, his hobby had turned into an obsession. I think the first time that I asked her if she wanted to go bird watching, I think she thought I was trying to do something else, you know? <laughs> I think she was rather disappointed when I actually took her bird watching. <laughs> Even the kids weren't immune to this call of the wild, getting started well before they even knew what a bird was. When my wife was pregnant with John, um, I was just learning to do a, my, my barred owl call. And when I would do it, the cat would meow, the dog would bark, and John would kick mom. Least. Yeah, black bill, black turn with a yellow tip. See the yellow tip on the bill? Oh. For one week each year, the Brotherton's hobby takes them to the Texas coast. There, they joined over 100 other birders from 10 states and five countries for the great Texas Birding Classic. Who's first to grow for John said? The classic is three days of friendly competition to see who can find and identify the most species of birds. The $50,000 in prize money doesn't go to the birders. It goes to bird habitat projects chosen right. by the winning team. Go to that, that, that tree that the classic has been very successful, not only in terms of making people aware of the great diversity of birds in Texas and in the need for conserving habitat, but also in terms of raising money for habitat conservation projects. I'm trying to it looks like, like a Marvel god with the hand. Short bill dowager, that's what it is. It's a short bill dowager. Teams okay. of rough wings. Kids, aged 8 to 13, compete only on the first day. While the adult teams can bird from midnight to midnight, the younger birders are limited to an eight-hour day. It's a test how good you are and how good other people are and how good you are compared to them. Well, I like it because it's outdoors and it's just fun. A bunch of walking, too. Well, let's go further on down, guys. Birding right. in a contest is kind of like sightseeing. You don't spend too much time in one place. There's a lot of driving, a little bit of looking. I got a blue jay. And a lot more driving. Is that a bluebird? Or a plane? It looks like a plane. Plane? Yeah, it's a plane. They're not. They're not what? They're red knot. When uh, a family goes out, you know, you're against each other trying to find out the best bird or so. But when you're a team. Great hand, that's it. Yeah, there you go. Sort of funner because, you know, you're working together as a group and, you know, like, you can give high fives and stuff. Very good. The adults have fun too. Way to go, Miss Peggy. <laughs> but their competition is a little more intense. Coots, little Balearian Cali grits, turn of some sort. A few days scouting before the competition saves time once the contest begins. 
Yesterday, we got our ears turned into a tropical perula. Uh, we spent uh, 30 minutes at it yesterday. Uh, tomorrow, we will spend uh, probably about 10 seconds. We'll hear it and go. When the contest starts, the Brotherton's team is on the road early, 3 a.m. early. Who's that? White Wing Dove. Their first stop is an hour and a half later, in the dark, to hear an owl. Before the day is over, they will drive 400 miles, cross four counties, visit two state parks, two wildlife refuges, three bird sanctuaries, and one garbage dump. While the early bird may indeed get the worm, the early birder doesn't always get the bird. We're at Falcon Dam. We're about 13 minutes too early. It doesn't open until 6 a.m. and we're kind of waiting here. We're going to try to go down. We're going to try to go down here and see if we can find a great horned owl. There it is. Over there. Uh, we just got uh, Lester Nighthawk. Doing great. Got 14 birds already. Hey. No, that's a dove. I'm sorry. Pyroluxia. See him exposed right there? OK, well, we're getting some of the desert stuff. Look, you see the shoulder patch? You guys find the grave. What? Is that a great egret out there in the water loop flying across? Oh, there's an eastern middle arc right there. There's a bird flying over there. Yeah, there's, a, there's one pelican out there in the in the water, way out there. Almost 7.30, and we have 34. We're just 100 away from target. <laughs> <laughs> There's a spotted sandpiper. It's a ringed. That's number 80. Way to go. 81. Good number of species. We're an hour behind where we're supposed to be. <laughs> All right, we need some warblers, ladies. The warblers would elude the team for most of the day, as would a decent meal. I started off this morning at 2 o'clock this morning with a can of Mountain Dew. I've had a can of sardines handful of Dorito chips and a Hershey's bar. Despite the frantic nature of competitive birding, there's a method to the madness. Uh, not many people know about the art of finding a bird. First, you got to listen for it. Visually, finding a bird can be really tricky. Uh, you got to look for little movements. You can kind of uh, do little sounds to attract the bird. No birding trip to the valley would be complete without a trip to the Brownsville Sanitary Landfill. We are not going to stay long. That's the only place in America. Get the bird and go where you'll find the Tamalipas crow. Are those grackles or are they the crows? Garbage dumps attract a lot of birds. You got a herring going out there, though? And only the most dedicated bird watchers. It's wonderful. Sixteen hours after they begin, the group finally makes it to their last stop. 7.35 and we have 157. And there's probably about five or six birds right here that we want to try to get real quick. So look right over the guy's scope. You got a purple gown in the okay. right over the guy's. Larry, do you got anything? No. Is that snipe? Is that snipe? Everybody hear it? Yeah. Let's go. Take your binoculars. Just look right over the thieves. Oh, there's the rail right there. Try for the least bitter one more time. One more time. Yeah. I think we're about finished now. Yeah, we, we take a brown pelican if it flew over it. I don't think it's going to happen. No 
one in the family counted enough birds to win a trophy. But for all the Brothertons, the great Texas birding classic was a huge success anyway. They got to see lots of birds, and they got to do it together. I thought that was a neat, neat thing to do, to be with the family. No, I'm sorry. I got barn owl in my thought. We're going to get a barn owl. See, I'm not done yet. You just think I'm done. <laughs> After a week of chasing birds from Brazosport to Brownsville, barn owl the birding down. Brothertons of Dangerfield, Texas, headed home for a well-deserved rest and a break from the birds. Good night, kids. Good night, Dad. Good night, Mom. Good night, sir. Good night, John. Good night, sir. Listen, screech out. Good night, David. <laughs>